are many sources of information and training available on the internet for aspiring filmmakers. Today I'll talk about some who have been particularly helpful to me as I invite you to come inside my movie. I came into my first feature film project with over 45 years of experience in television, radio, and video production. I had produced and directed many programs for television, including a number of short narrative shows. However, as I began to prepare for my feature film directorial debut, I recognized early on that I needed to bring my skill set up to date and take advantage of the huge amount of high quality information available on the internet. In this episode, I'll share with you some of the people who influenced my pre-production work, the script. I started the project by obtaining the rights to a radio play written by C.W. Gordon in the 80s, entitled Good Grief, It's Friday. I had produced the radio play along with some others as part of a plan to distribute them like books on tape. It turned out that it was more successful as a creative undertaking than as a business proposition, but that's a story for another time. The radio play ran about 30 minutes. So in developing the story for film, my goal was to create a screenplay that was a typical feature length of 90 to 100 pages, while maintaining the film noir yet playful feel of the original radio play. There are many outstanding writers in film and television today. I became a fan of Aaron Sorkin as a viewer of his clever and entertaining comedy sports night. While I didn't feel sufficiently confident to try and emulate his brilliant writing style, uh, Sports Night and Sorkin's many brilliant shows that followed inspired me to write. When I told my family what I intended to do, they enrolled me in a David Mamet master class in writing. David Mamet is also one of my favorite writers, so I joined the online program with enthusiasm. Mamet's lessons were filled with an enormous amount of good practical information and presented in an entertaining and engaging way. While I won't blame him for the quality of my script, whatever quality exists is in part because of his lessons. I also enjoyed many videos featuring Pamela Kay in her series entitled Word Dancer. Another series called Film Courage also offered many interviews with writers, among others, who not only helped with the script writing, but also offered a lot of good information on film theory. Another favorite source for film theory discussion comes from Wolf Crow. The presenter, Sarisha Dekrin, often breaks down certain aspects of high-profile films in a very insightful way. One of the key pieces of advice on filmmaking is the rather obvious concept that goes like this. It's a movie. Don't tell me. Show me. What follows are three scenes in which I tried to convey the idea that our protagonist is getting left behind in an uphill battle. Me off my own case. He clearly doesn't understand how badly I need the money from the wealthy Mrs. Percy. She's actually paying in advance. I've got a practice to maintain. What would Friday do if I couldn't keep the business going? I made a promise to her mom. Uh, I guess I gotta get better at collecting the money that old clients owe. And Murphy's got to know how I'd take bullying tactics, especially from him. Ah, I can't. You know, I take some comfort from speaking with you about Ray. Somehow makes me feel closer to her. I know. Me too. Take care of yourself. Anyway, I headed for Donnie's place in the hopes that he sleeps in so that I can get the drop on him this time. Next week, I'll talk about those who have, and continue to, influence my work in production, post-production, and distribution. Until the next time, when I once again invite you to come inside my movie.